Okay, so I want to show you how to read the tip pull. As you can see, this is our tip pull. The other side is in centimeter. The other side is in inch. Inches. So, uh, I, would, I would like to take out this um, this iron at the end there so that we can see what I want to show you. Do you see that? I already did some lines, but originally this is how it comes. But I'm going to have to show you this my ruler. This is my ruler now. Look at it. It's um, I seen the way there. And there are so many lines. Like there are so many many units between zero and one. So if I am able to explain to you those units as in following each lines, you will be able to apply it for the other ones. Do you understand? For example, um, I'm trying to see how I will not make this video too long. For example, now let me say. You want to use the measurement of your waist. Let's say your waist is 25 and you divide it by 4. You see, you have 6.25. I'll come back to this. Okay, so on our tape pool, on our tape normally, this is I've already broken it down in such a way that it will be easy for you to understand. Mm? So are you seeing it? So from here to here, like this one, C0. Mm? So there's a kind of um, way it is um, analyzed. Usually, so this is the R4, this is 0 0.5. <laughs> so no, normally on our tape pool now, see the 0 0.5 here. This one. This is this was the general one everybody knows. This is um zero, this is 0 0.5, this is one, this is 1.5, this is two. Okay, so but there is a line here. If you want to really understand it well, you mean it I have to mark this line again before this line. Hmm? Before this small one, before this one, before this small one, before this one, before this one. Here. So that is why I did it like this. So after you have your zero, you have one over sixteen. Mm -hmm. It's clear enough. You have one over sixteen, two over sixteen. I'm bringing it this way so that you will not get it confused. You have one over sixteen, two over sixteen. I already broke it down. That's why you have one over eight. Mm -hmm. So it's normally you want to follow it accordingly. 1 over 16, 2 over 16, 3 over 16, 4 over 16, 5 over 16, 6 over 16, 7 over 16, 8 over 16, 9 over 16, 10 over 16, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 over 16, 16 over 16. That is what now give you 1. If you understand, if you remember your division well. So this one now, you're only to the lowest um, factor, you know now 2 here another two going here to give you it that's why i broke it down to the um units then of course after you divide it into one point one over eight it is this is what will be useful to you that is what i had to do that i know you understand this um after look let me show you my calculator see that one over 16 now hmm? one divided by 16 I seen it. That is what gave me this 0 0.0625. Do you see it here? 0 0.0625. Okay. So, it is going to really help us. So, on this table now, are you seeing what I'm trying to say? Hmm? This is your 0. This is your 1 over 16. This is your 2 over 16. 3 over 16. 4 over 16. 5 over 16. 6 over 16. 7 over 16. 8 over 16. Did you see that? That 8 over 16. Let me see. I just want to show you so that, so that I'll be sure that you understand it. That 8 over 16, where is it here? By the time you divide it, 8 times 2 is 16. So you have half. That is 0 0.5. Are you seeing? So that is 0 0.5 here. Mm -hmm. 8 over 16. 9 over 16. See, I did another line here so that you understand it easily. 9 over 16. 10 over 16, 11 over 16, 12 over 16, 13 over 16, 14 over 16, 15 over 16, and 1. That is 16 over 16 divided. As long as you divide it, it's quite that your answer is 1. Do you understand? So, after I've done all those um, 1 over 16 on all the lines, mm, I now broke it down. After breaking it down, like 1 over 16 is on its own, it can't be divided. So, 2 over 16 can be divided. I see. So, I broke it down. Even this 3 over 16 too, you can still have um, the um, division. Can this 3 over 16 be divided? No, sorry, please. Okay, so, after doing all of that, even if you didn't even break it down, by the time you use your calculator, it will still give you the right figures here. Mm. So now let's go back to what I'm trying to tell you. 
So when you let's say um okay, I, I was using twenty five initially, twenty five divided by four, hmm? that is six point two five. Abi, was it twenty five divided by four we did that time? Six point two five anyway. So on your tape let me use um the one that will be easy to understand. I wanted to show you something before I jumped to that. So are you seeing that all this figure here now? It is going to apply to this one. So when you divide this one over 16, mm, if you are going back now, let's say this part now is your one, eh, and this part is two. The one and two I'm talking about is the one here and the two here. So this is 1.5, Abby. So that means all of this one now is going to be, um, is going to be, the answer you have here is, is going to be, that one was 16 that you had there, is going to be one point. Are you saying 0 to 6? This 0 0.125 is going to be 1.125. Are you saying it? 1.18. Okay, let me see what will be easy for you. This half now is 1.5. Do you understand? So the same thing applies. You know, just as you go on this or they put 2 year, year will be 2.5. 3 year, year will be 3.5. The same way, all this decimal, all this decimal that we have here, 1.9, 1.875. I'm talking about when you now switch to using one to two on your table, the same with two to three. So that's 6.25 now. That 25 divided by four, let me just write it. That 25 divided by four, that gave me 6.25. Hmm? Which part of the table do you think is going to be? So I'm going back to my, to my units here. That is that four over 16 part, Abby. The part that is 0 0.25. So where is it on the table? Where is it on the table? 4 over 16. See, see my 0, see 1 over 16, 2 over 16, 3 over 16, 4 over 16. Abi, that is 0 0.25. Mm -hmm. So, look at it too. How many did I count? 1, 2, 3, 4. So, let me go to my 6.25. 6. See this small unit. 1, 2, 3, 4. This is going to be my 6.25. Hmm? This is going to be the 6.25 based on the calculation. I see in 6.25, this is going to be 6.5. Hmm? The other side is going to be... Um, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? It's not just tiny, tiny unit. Tiny, 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 tiny. So I just want to be sure you understand it. And I try to... I spent a lot of time trying to make this tutorial just for us to understand it easily. Hmm? This this rule I will make you see that there are so many lines. It I don't know why the the table didn't include that. I guess there must be other ones that will be able to have that division. So please, my name is Falake and I'm the fashion teacher for sewing class with Falax Me. I'm the owner of the page, and I want you to like and subscribe this um to this my YouTube account. And I'm sure you've understand it. I'm sure you've understood it. So if you are still finding it difficult, just take your notes. The way I did this one, hmm? take your notes. Do all the calculations, do the divisions, and you see that what I did is correct. So that means by the time you are on this part of your table, eight. Hmm? By the time you come start coming down, you just start imputing the figures in front. The way this one is zero, now you put your eight there. If it is the eighteen, the way this one is zero, you put your eighteen there. You get if it is 19, this one is zero, put on 19.5. Are you seeing this? Because in, in between here, it's 19.5 now. I'll be sure you remember. So that is it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know in the comment section. I don't want the video to be too long. This is already eight minutes. Yeah, it's going to be nine minutes at the end of the day.